Hello everyone, this is Jackie, the French reporter for Watson Headquarters. We are in Los Angeles at Heroes Motor, where we are going to interview somebody so special, a superstar from France. He's handsome, he's smart, he's talented. I'm talking about the one and only Kev Adam. We are so excited to be here today in Los Angeles in the American soul with the one and only Kev Adam, superstar in Europe, ladies and gentlemen. And we are so proud to have you here. I didn't make it yet, but I'm trying at least. And it's really funny because uh, I think there's like American people watching this interview and they're thinking she has an accent he has an accent <laughs> both of them are french but they speak in english on bicycle it's, on it's bicycle. And, and bicycle and it's they're... really weird and i they're... think for <laughs> them you know, for them it's like why do they that i mean french people are really weird and they do interview on bicycle but if they stick around you know there will be a payoff you okay. Know? Okay. So, okay. You, Kevin, you are a very successful French actor, and any any other French actor would be very satisfied with this level of success. When did you realize you wanted to cross over, and why did you? Actually, I don't even know if I want to cross over. What I know is I like being here. I like people here. I like the the entertainment here, and I'm like, why not? I, I should try. But I I love what I have in France, and it's more than enough for me, you know. Exactly. And I love it there, and I want to like my my main career, my whole career is in France right now. But what I love is, you know, here it's a new challenge, and I'm like. You know, um, I hate holidays, to be honest. I love my job and I love what I do. It's my real passion. So when I have some holidays, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm going to come here instead of going to the beach with my friends. I'm going to come here and try to meet some people and try to make some interviews on, on some bis bicycle, you know? It's like, yeah, that's what I love to do. Yeah, and you're exploring very well. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, now that you're acting in, in American and in French, do you find comedy in French translate well to American comedy or do you feel you need to adjust? And if you do, what do you do? No, you can translate. That's my, I think, I mean, that's uh, my, my feeling. It's like, it's so different, the culture in France and the culture here. I mean, of course, we have a lot of, you know, uh, um, things in common but uh to be honest when you when you make comedy you need to speak about the culture what people know you know right, what right. Me, what people live every day and yeah when when i when i first came here i just translated my joke from my french jokes and it, it didn't work yeah, at all i know right so now i'm like writing some original materials for french for american uh people for the American audience and it's really cool it's a great challenge it is, it is a great challenge and I was watching you yesterday you're doing an amazing job you Thank gotta you check much. out this guy he's amazing okay <laughs> so let's talk about um, American movie what's your favorite movie um, Wow I have American so movie so many so many movies that I love that's why that's also one of the other reasons that you know that made me come here it's because I love the American movies since I'm a kid to be I have so many American movies that I love, like Pulp Fiction, for wow. example, uh, The Wolf of Wall Street is one of my favorite. Yeah, Leo, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's more Margot Robbie for me, but yeah, Leo, of course, as well. How about the French movie? What's your favorite French movie? I think it's, uh, I don't know, I have, I, I have tons of favorite French movies as well, but I think it would be like uh, maybe uh, Intouchable, Untouchable, uh, that was funny. Yeah, that was awesome, and I love those directors. Uh, Eric uh, Toledano and Olivier Nakache are like, I think they're really, really good directors, and it's one of my dreams to work with them. So you know, I, I, I just, I just love all of their movies. I think they're making an amazing job. You speak so well. Thank you very much. So now we talk about French movie, American <laughs> movie. Now let's <coughs> talk about your new series, Super High. Okay. Okay. So what was the concept? The concept is you put the gas inside and. No. The <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice mask, bro. Give me the money now, man. Hello. Who the fuck are you? The Super High team. Yeah. So put the. <laughs> I'm so lit. Give me the fucking joint, bro. <laughs> Am I the first stone superhero in history? Batman's on cocaine, for sure. What? 
what is the concept of no, the concept movie? of super high it's pretty pretty simple it's like it's the story of this guy david uh, at the beginning of the show his girlfriend uh, is gonna break up with him and he's gonna be like desperate and he's gonna try to find some uh, some uh, stuff to feel better you know and of course he's gonna meet some guy who's gonna give him some stuff and of course after you gotta watch the show but he's gonna have some superpowers yeah yes but we're not gonna say what it ha what does he have to do to have this superpower no that is up you need, to you to yes find you out. need to watch the show to find out exactly so, so describe at least the emotion of your character yes i mean he's a he's a sensitive guy and he's like he's in love with his girlfriend I mean, after you don't have to expect like a real show with a real story and everything. It's a comedy show. It's really short. It's ten minutes episode, and we wanted to make it like for fun and pure entertainment. It's only us, you know, two French guys, me and and Edouard Pluvieux, the director. We wrote it like re really for fun, and we made it for fun. So you wrote it and you produced it. Yes. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I watched the first episode, and it was four o'clock in the morning. I said I have to get some rest, but it's very, very entertaining. Thank you very much. You should watch the second one tonight at four a.m. and then we'll always <laughs> talk about it. You're so funny. If you had any superpower, which one would it be? I would love to fly. I think it's awesome because I love to travel, and I think you know if I can avoid all the airport thing like the hand Everybody like this and you know so i would love to 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 know how to fly um if you could share the the silver screen with an american actress who would it be i think that would be margot robbie margot robbie i think she's one of the best actress best american actress uh right now she's really talented she knows how to be awesome in indie movies but also in super production yeah and she knows how to be I mean, she knows how to act everything. I discovered her in The Wolf of Wall Street, as a lot of people, I think, and she was like awesome and sexy and everything in the movie. And after I saw her in, in Tazan, uh, in Tazan and she was <laughs> awesome in Tazan, and then I saw her in uh, Suicide Squad. Oh. I saw her in Suicide Squad, and you know, she plays this crazy woman and everything, and she was so good. So yeah, I think one of my dreams is, is to uh, play with her. Yeah, yeah, to play with Margot Robbie and maybe Emma Watson. I love her. Yeah, she's awesome too. Yeah. Yeah. And I grew up with Harry Potter, so I'm in love with her, yeah. as everyone. Yeah, as everyone. Oh, not me, but yeah, I can understand. Uh, any kiss you would like to share on a big screen with somebody? Uh, Margot Robbie and yeah. Emma Watson. Yeah, the same. Yeah. I, I felt that one coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you grew up. Who was your influence when you grew up uh, in the industry? I think I know the answer. Um... In the industry, tons of people. I would say from the American people, Leo DiCaprio. Yes. Yeah. And for the French. And for the French, I would say, uh, I don't know, maybe Gad Elmaleh, who was uh, one of my inspiration because I wanted to make stand up, and he's like a big stand up guy in France. But you made a show with him, right? Yeah, I did a show with him. What did you yeah. learn from him? Tons of. I mean, it's exactly like you know, he's the number one in France for like 30 years maybe 25 years. So when you go up on stage with him, you just listen and then and, and then you, you learn a lot so of stuff. Listening. Yeah, so listening. Yeah, that was awesome. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, and what, how does that feel today to be that person that people look up to you and you are the inspiration of so many? I don't feel like uh, I am uh, an inspiration, but yes, I mean, it's awesome. It's a dream come true. And that's why I'm like always try to find new challenge. And I never, I'm never like, all right, I'm cool, I'm done. I've done everything I want and you know I'm always like moving forward and I'm always like what I'm gonna do next what what's the next project what's the next movie what's the next show that's what I love you know I'm always like um, I'm always in the same uh, spirit uh, that I was at the beginning you know it's like it's always the same I'm always like thinking of how I'm gonna make it and sometimes in France, like my friends are like, yeah, but I think you made it. And I'm you like, nah, me. I'm going to make it. How I'm going to make it even better. You well, know? you know, a lot of uh, journalists in France that I spoke with, you are the favorite. You are the favorite, really. And they think that you are the cool. number I, one actor in France. And I want to mention that. I appreciate it. He is the one one. And to us, he's amazing. He's here in the USA. It's amazing. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, Kevin. <laughs> what keeps you centered and granted? My family and friends, I would say, for sure. They're my support for a long time right now, since I started my career in France uh, seven, eight years ago. 
uh, yeah, they're always here, always the same group of people, and they're really supportive, and they're really hard also. Like sometimes when, I, when they don't like what I do, they're like they're really honest. honest, and yeah, and, and you know, they're, yeah, I, I, I like their, I like having them around me, and they're always around me. And in the big success, they're here celebrating with me. And in the and in the big failure, they're here, uh, you know, disappointed with me. So I love it. I love having them around. And I think, uh, yeah, my my family and friends and close friends, uh, that's I need them. I need them, and I'm happy to have them uh, in this industry because none of them work in the industry. I mean. My my family, uh, part of my family work with me, but um, beside this, none of them work in the industry. So they have like another point point of view, you know, right. and they can they can analyze analyze the situation differently, and that's what I love. So yeah, I would say them them thank them to be with me. And the ultimate, what are you working on right now? I'm doing stand up comedy. Uh, I would say go watch Super High on Black Pills. That's my first real American project in English and I'm really proud of, and then uh, it's fun. So go watch Super High on Black Pills, and that's my first real project. And next year, I'll be in the movie The Spy Who Dumped Me with Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis, which is awesome. I have like a small part in this movie, but so it's, it's a- the second one. Yes, it's, a, it's another American project. And I'm doing stand-up all around the city. So if, if you want to know yeah. where I am and when, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or in the street, you can follow me in the street. <laughs> Kev Adams, thank you so much for thank this. You very One much more for time, can you tell us where we can find uh, Super High? You can find Super High on Black Pills. The Black Pills app is free. Just download it and watch the show Super High. And if you want to see me on stage, follow me on Instagram, Kev Adams, Twitter, Kev Adams, and Facebook, Kev Adams. <laughs> thank you everyone for uh, watching today. Kev Adams, ladies and gentlemen, superstar the number one in my country, all over Europe, and we have the privilege you have here in America. Thank you so much. Thank Frankie. you very much for having me, and uh, yes, merci beaucoup.